hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Yeah, Solana has seen quite a sharp decline today. However, the yellow scenario is still valid. We haven't seen a sustained break below that $169.60 level. So the scenario is still valid in yellow and also a reasonable interpretation. Let me take you through that, that one again. Uh, the idea is still that a fourth wave bottomed here on the 20th of March. We're now in a fifth wave that should take us to 225, possibly $237, maybe more. Um, it would happen in an A, B, C structure. And in this particular scenario, the B wave ideally does not sustain below the 78.6 retracement. We have to see how it now develops over the weekend. But the orange support zone at the moment is holding and we have a possible micro five wave pattern to the upside on this chart. It's really, really tiny, this five wave pattern here, but it's possible five wave move up. And as long as we're holding now the right, well, the 5th of April low basically here at $168.40, that was where it dipped to briefly only. Um, yeah, possibly that B wave has completed, but it really hinges on the bull's ability to defend that level. Any break below that level would shift it into the white count. Okay, we would morph into the white count um, in the into the let's say significant support region below, which is the lower support region. And the only change in the structure would be it's the same overall pattern and structure, but. The question is, in the yellow count, obviously we can say the low in a, fourth, in a fourth wave bottomed already on the 20th of March. But in the white count, the fourth wave is still unfolding. And it's in a larger WXY pattern. And the Y wave is unfolding now, and it's unfolding as an ABC structure, that Y wave. And I shared with you that if we break below that low, yeah, today's low basically, that we will likely reach the $157 next uh, level next. It's the... 38.2 retracement, well, that's one point, but it's also the 100% extension level of wave W. And that's just a key target, you know, for a, for a Y wave. Maybe we'll get there. So that's one level definitely to consider. And in the yellow count, this could also be an ABC and it might actually be finished. But that's only based on the support levels. I mean, the 100% extension level is actually a little lower. So yeah, I cannot rule out that it's gonna drop a bit further, but then it's probably not the yellow count anymore, then it will morph into the white count. But even honestly, but even in the white count, it might just make one more marginally lower low. So either way in this wave count, as soon as we see a first five wave move to the upside followed by a three wave pullback, we should be able to say that, yeah, the low is possibly in. In the yellow count, I can say possibly wave B is finished, but the five wave move up from today's low, it's just so small, it leaves too much room for interpretation. It would take a break above the last swing high, first of all, hundred, yeah, basically $190, followed by a break above 192 to indicate that a low has formed in wave B. Yeah, so at the moment, really no change structurally. We've had a bit of a decline, but it's still holding support and we have two potentials on the chart. They are both bullish. One just allows for a deeper pullback. That's my update about uh, Solana. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.